Just how important is the use of immediate foreground when shooting a landscape? You're about to find out. Adorama TV presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson, where you'll learn unique and creative techniques that will elevate your photography skills. Here's your host, Brian Peterson. Hey, so we're here in the beautiful town of Bannon, Provence, and we've got lavender fields, of course, and one of the things that we did, as usual, when we stopped, we decided before coming across the road here, this is going to be a wide angle shot, no question about it. And one of the things that several of the students made the mistake of, which is very, very normal, I might add, is that with the wide angle lens, they failed to get close enough to the foreground. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, and you're watching Adorama TV. As I mentioned, we're here in the beautiful village of Bannon, Provence, and we've got lavender fields galore, and we've got also a nice little bonus. In this case, we've got some wild, what looks to be wild dandelion bushes. I don't quite know the name of them, but that's what they appear to be. And um, we are going to utilize these yellow dandelion bush as an immediate foreground. What I want to share with you first, though, is a photograph that one of the students made, and it's a nice, pleasing image if you want a snapshot. And what I mean by that snapshot is simply this. You stop, you get out of your car, you stand at eye level, and you take a snapshot of the scene before you. There's hardly any reason to engage the viewer with this photograph because, again, it looks like you simply stood up, took a snapshot as you observed the scene. Likewise, compare this next example, as I explained to the students, to get in much, much closer to these yellow flowers. And I think when you see the two on the screen, as you do right now, side by side, you'll have to agree the sense of participation, the sense of involvement, the sense of engagement that comes from getting in simply closer to these yellow flowered bush makes much, much more sense. As far as exposure here, it's very simple. We've got the sun coming in somewhat side lit, so we are using polarizing filters. We are using an aperture of 22. We are pre-focusing, in this case, at one meter, and subsequently getting a massive depth of field of roughly 14 inches to infinity. It's a pretty simple shot, but it's not going to work, again, unless you are willing to engage in this case, the foreground of yellow flowers and making the immediate foreground the invitation, for lack of a better word, that gets one to be involved in this photograph. Something you need to know. Until next time, this is Brian Peterson saying, you keep shooting. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.